Hi, I'm Bill Crawford. We're inside basic training, my gym in Scottsdale, Arizona. But today, we're going to talk a little bit about body fat. Now, there's really basically three different kinds of body fat. There's the body fat that everyone is very concerned about, and that's the body fat that you can see underneath your skin. It's the fat that's basically between the muscle tissue and the skin, and it's called subcutaneous body fat. The second body fat is intermuscular fat. This is the fat that when you go to the butcher to buy a good steak, you see the marbling in the, in the, in the meat. That is the intermuscular fat. And the other fat, probably the fat that is most overlooked but most dangerous, that's the omentum fat. For just about every square inch of fat that we have between our muscle tissue and our skin, we have approximately the same amount of fat inside your body, in your chest cavity. And what happens, that fat competes for space with organs. And when it competes for space with organs, it compromises their function. They can't function as well. And that's where we have a lot of the disease and health problems associated with obesity and being overweight. Now I'm going to show you something. This is a uh, model of a human being, and it's a musculoskeletal system, but if we take this faceplate off, you can see inside all of the organs. And these organs are tightly, neatly packed inside the cavity. And you can see there's just no room for anything else. So what happens when we pack this up with body fat? It congests the cavity, it squeezes on the liver, the transverse colon, the ascending colon, the dense and descending colon, the small intestine, the stomach, the lungs, the kidneys, every organ inside of our body suffers because of this. And this is really the number one cause of high blood pressure. If you want to drop 20 points in your blood pressure, lose 20 pounds, reduce some of that congestion and pressure on your internal organs, your blood pressure is going to go down. Your digestive system is going to work better you're going to feel better. Body fat, number one killer. And of course we all know that if the United States population was fit, we wouldn't have a national health care crisis. And there's no substitute for weight resistance exercise because these muscles burn this fat, even in a state of rest. So you got to know what your percentage of body fat is, you've got to know what your caloric intake is, and you've got to manage the calories that go into your body because if you're not expending them, guess where they go? They go into the fat cells, that stored energy. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day, and we'll see you later. Bye.